हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक सर्च हेल्प एग्जिट एंड वी आर कवरिंग कॉल कंट्रोल स्टेप्स एंड एज ए पार्ट ऑफ दैट वी आर कवरिंग प्री सेल स्टेप we all know the purpose of pre sell is to provide the selection condition and yes as a part of that we pass the two selection conditions for the payment mode for the payment mode should be c and d now i will put a break point and i will explain each and everything into the debugging mode and topic will give you 100% clarity now i will run this search help exit we have to ignore this pop up i will go for okay now system entered into debugging mode i will go to desktop firstly we will go for call control and you can see what is the call control step as of now firstly cell one now after that call control step will be pre cell one firstly as of now just see shlp shlp cell opt zero records now i will do f8 again what is call control step now it is pre cell now shlp cell opt zero records previously when we provided that default value that default value filled into cell opt now we are not going for default value we have written the logic for the same so this if condition true system will go inside this if condition firstly we are filling the or we are passing that data to the work area now you can see we are passing everything to the work area this is your work area so we passed everything to the work area this internal table is blank as of now so we inserted the first record to the internal table and you can see the first record is in the internal table now we are going for inserting the second record so firstly second record i passed to work area so second record we are passing to work area so this work area now has the second record payment mode d and we are passing it to internal table and you can see this internal table has two records as of now but these two records should go to shlp cell opt just see as of now shlp cell opt zero records whenever i will pass this the two records will go to shlp cell opt now shlp cell opt you can see two records passed now our task is done once you passed it to shlp cell opt you will be able to see on that dialog pop up now people will ask here i am only able to see the single value we passed two values yes there are two values only you need to go for this multiple selection button even so i will go to multiple selection have you seen we are able to see uh, c and d both now i will do f8 i will go for okay now the selection process will start you all know what is the step now select so based upon c and d it will fetch that data from the order header table just see as of now record tab zero records now for the payment mode c and d we have total 14 records now the call control step is this after this it is simply simply displaying that data we have 14 records and just see the payment mode is only c and d there is no n net banking and and whenever i will select a record and you can see call control step is return and whatever the record we selected that is in the record
Now I will do F8. So thus this particular record returned. So I explained in that debugging mode that how, how it is working. Now, so many people are asking, you are running the search help. You are writing the logic in the search help exit. Can you use this search help in a program and show? Suppose same fact. If I want to use this search help in a program, because ultimately customer will run the program. And it is already explained in the BAP dictionary playlist. Suppose I am creating a program. ZPRG. Suppose assign search help. I will go for create. Assigning the search help. I will go for save. Just I am showing you which keyword you have to use in the program to assign that search help. Now I will do simply activating the program. Suppose I will declare a parameter, parameters, p underscore o n o type data element of order number i think this is the data element i'll check this is our order header table this is the data element now how you will assign that search help to this particular parameter we have a keyword match code object with the help of this you can assign the search help this is our search help I will activate. I will provide the selection text. Go to text elements, selection text. Suppose, firstly, I will comment the code of the search help exit so that you will understand what will be the exact requirement which customer asks. Suppose I am commenting this code. So there is no code as of now. Done. It is active. Now I will simply run this program. So this parameter has this search help. You can see search help is visible. I will go for OK. You can see pop-up is coming. Payment mode is nothing because I commented the code for the search help exit, which is in that particular search help. Now, what customer is saying, I only want those records where payment mode is C and D. So it means we need to restrict, we need to make use of pre sell step. We have already written the logic. I'm just explaining you because many people ask, can you show us? Yes how we are using in the program. Now I will uncomment the code which we have written. I will uncomment. It's already opened here. So this search help has this search help exit and we have written the code. And this search help is assigned to this parameter. I'll just close this. I will go to the program. Yes. Now this search help, whatever the search help is there. This search help is assigned to this field. In this search help, we have the search help exit and we have written the code. So whenever I will execute, now I'm executing the program. Previously, I showed you through by running the search help itself. Now, whenever I will go to F4 button or search help button, have you seen we are able to see? We have to check here. So we have
I'll go to multiple selection button. You can see we are able to see CND. Sorry, by mistake, I think I did some mistake. So we are able to see CND both. I will go for OK. And you can see. So same to same result you can see in the program also because ultimately, yes, that is true. Customer will ask for the program. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you the execution of pre-sell step in the debugging mode. So uh, we have written the code how SHLP cell opt is filling with the help of pre-sell. Generally, in every interview, we ask, yes, you use the pre-sell step. So you pass that selection condition to which particular parameter? Answer is self SHLP cell opt. After that, man, maximum people ask, we are always running the result by running the search help. Can we get a chance or can you show how we can use in the program? So I used same to same search help in the program by using the keyword match code object. So search help has search help exit. So same to same result we are getting in the program also. In the next video, we will further go for more things in the pre-sell step only. So that's it in this video. Thank you.